Here's another uh, four-speed uh, Panhead transmission needs to be worked on in here. So this one here, we got uh, these holes have all been helicoiled. Most of them have been helicoiled anyway. So this one here needs to be helicoiled. So all of these need to be checked out and made sure that they're good. The, uh, inside the case is good. This side of the case here is pretty good. It hasn't been all screwed up yet. So this is all good. A little bit of rubbish here from where the chain rubbed across it, but that's nothing really to worry about. For some reason they drilled under the hole right here where the speedo drive goes. So that needs to be uh, hit with a welder just lightly to uh, plug it. And we'll have to remachine all the machine that back out. So over here we have a lot more issues. Someone really hogged that hole way the hell on out. It's supposed to be a quarter inch. Now these are quarter inch helicoiled, all of these. So this is way past that. That's up to like a three eighths. So I don't really want to weld in here because it's going to warp the tranny real bad. So I'll wind up putting a bolt in here, lock tighten it in there, and then drill and tap them through that to get it back to a quarter inch thread. These holes here all need to be uh, helicoiled out to 516. Some of these are already done. Most of these are stripped, so I'll most, probably want to do most about every one of them. And what does need to get fixed right now, besides that speedo hole, is the drain plug hole. Somebody helicoiled it, and that will never see oil. It will always leak. And there's the helicoil sticking through down there. So we'll go ahead and pull that out, and then uh, heat weld it up. This here is a uh, you can see the wear mark across here, so I'll go ahead and put a weld around this and then remachine it back down. All these case stud holes look pretty good. Bosses. So we'll go ahead and work on this one here. And to get that out, we're going to go ahead and get to where the chain starts right over here. We're going to put our punch right in here and knock that out and then unscrew it. So I'll show you how to do it in a second. Okay, there's the heater coil. We knock that tang over. We're going to put our buckbill pliers here, and we'll just unscrew this. As usual, hard to do with one hand. So we'll just take that on out of there like this. We've got like 15 turns on this thing probably. here we want to run. We don't want to use that. that looks like about the right grit. Yeah, we'll just jam that in that hole right there and clean it up. That'll do a good job. So I'll do that right now and you can see that. Okay, we got it all beat out. Got all the threads cut out there. So I'll come in here to come with a welding torch from this side here and Try to fill that in on that side and come back around this side. Get that filled up on this side, then we'll flip it over and fill in the rest of it from the other side. And we'll go ahead and get this area here. So I'll go get that rolled up and then we'll see what that looks like. Alright, got this case welded up. The drain plug went pretty easy. This here is pretty contaminated with crap, so I didn't want to weld, but got a bunch of layer, about an eighth of an inch up on there, so got plenty of stuff to cut off inside over here see what that is right there weld it all the way through so anyway that one is good to go so we'll go throw this in the oven and let it cool off 